Hey guys, so we've had some issues with constraining the spring in your uh, carabiner ferrule pen. Uh, so I'll show you how to how to remedy that. So I just made a, a sample spring and, and a little cylinder here. So I have the two parts, a cylinder and a spring. Uh, simple assembly. Uh, so if I go to constrain, the way that I have this set up now, I, I just can't constrain the spring. I can, I can, I can grip or grab the, the cylinder, but there's nothing for me to, to handle here on the spring. Okay. So I'll show you guys how to how to make that uh, a possible. Um, what we want to do is we want to go back to our spring, okay? So here's your spring file, and I have you know, I have a coil here, and there's two things that you could do, okay? There's two things that you can do. Um, one, and, and you have to do this in the original uh, the original file for the spring. One of them is you can you can make the uh, axis visible that runs, you know, through the center. So you can right click and uh, visibility in the Y axis. Um, let's go ahead and save that. And uh, this, this should work now. See how that axis shows up now? Now I can go ahead and hit constrain in here. And, and now I can constrain that, okay? So that, that allows me to do that. Um, I'm gonna make control Z and undo it. And another way uh, that you can apply this is to add, a, add another sketch. And I want to show you guys, actually, this is going to be, give me an opportunity to show how you can see the sketches in your browser here. So let me go ahead and go back to my spring, and I'll um, I expand my, my coil, right-click on sketch, and go to edit sketch. So you guys, I believe, just have a, uh, a radius, and then you have a profile, right? Um, add a line that is going to go vertical, okay? So I'll just make it like uh, one inch, all right? Doesn't really matter. Uh, finish the sketch. Um, I'll save this. So now, um, if I see the sketch, now, now you guys, right now in your browser, you're in the assembly view portion, uh, or viewing, okay? If you go to, and you can't see the sketches, you can only see the origin when you expand these parts. If you go to modeling right here, and then go to, let me expand, I'll expand the spring, and let's see here, expand coil right there, there's my sketch, okay? So you have to go to modeling right there. Right click on sketch, go to visibility, and now I can see that, that sketch, and you can constrain to that, that line, okay? So there's another option for you, okay? Let me cancel this. You guys, make sure that um, your main parts, uh, like the main portion of the barrel, um, that should be grounded, okay? So when you when you insert the, the parts that you don't want to move around, right click on it and then select grounded. So that, like I, I've grounded the cylinder, it doesn't move around on me. It just makes it a little bit easier to work with, okay? Um, hopefully this helps you guys out, thanks.